Our research presentation is based on the groundbreaking project. This research not only focuses on the study of one variant genes, but many various genes and how they influence the level of gene expression in human pancreatic islets, i.e. beta cells, and their effects on insulin secretion pathway and the control of glucose level of the donor. This research explained the complexity behind type 2 diabetes and until now there were no such studies were conducted. Now we will take you through the aim of this project, the procedures that were used and different categories of genes that were identified and, and what was concluded from these studies. The aim of this research is to identify additional type 2 diabetes genes analyzing global gene expression in human islets from 63 donors, nine of whom had had type 2 diabetes. This research is therefore going to produce a global map of genes associated with islet dysfunction and a rank list of potential type 2 diabetes genes. In doing so, it will also demonstrate the value of systems genetics for the identifications of genes potentially involved in type 2 diabetes. The researchers have characterized donated human islets using various methods, performing complementary DNA microarray and genome-wide association study, measuring insulin response to glucose and measuring glycated hemoglobin levels, also called HbA1c, that forms when glucose attaches to hemoglobin. The levels of glucose in the blood are therefore directly correlated with levels of HbA1c. This means that high glucose correspond to high levels of HbA1c. In addition, they have combined data from human islet gene expression, genetics and function to build a global map of genes associated with islet dysfunction in type 2 diabetes and to form a rank list of potential type 2 diabetes genes, highlighting several candidate genes that might affect islet function in men, as it was previously mentioned in the AIM. Using microarray data from human islets, they studied the expression of 48 genes located in the vicinity of SNPs or single nucleotide polymorphisms associated with type 2 diabetes or glycemic traits. Increased expression of these genes in islets was associated with higher insulin secretion and lower HbA1c, hereafter referred to as type 2 diabetes cedar genes, as show figures D to I. Genes with similar expression patterns may represent pathways of interest for the pathogenesis of islet dysfunction in type 2 diabetes. Thus, genes showing a strong correlation with the type 2 diabetes cedar genes were considered to be co-expressed. The authors observed a strongly connected network between type 2 diabetes cedar genes and co-expressed genes. Restricting the network to genes that were co-expressed with at least four non-type 2 diabetes cedar genes generated the type 2 diabetes netcore. The expression of these genes correlated positively with insulin secretion and negatively with HbA1c, as we can see from the graph on the slide. In addition, they analyzed whether SNPs within a region of 234 type 2 diabetes net genes were associated with type 2 diabetes in the Diagram Plus database. 10 SNPs were, with the lowest p-values were included in the final ranking. Using network topology, they identified 162 genes showing significant connectivity within the protein-to-protein -protein interaction network. Protein-to-protein -protein interactions are of central importance for virtually every process in a living cell. Information about these interactions improves our understanding of the disease. Eight genes showing correlation with more than three type 2 diabetes genes were included in the ranking. Finally, they observed genes that were differentially expressed 
in donors with non-diabetes and with hyperglycemia as compared with normal glycemic donors. Of them, 18 genes showed in the top graph were differentially expressed in both comparisons, donors with hyperglycemias versus normal glycemias and donors with type 2 diabetes versus non-diabetic donors and were included in the subsequent ranking. Ranking criteria were used to map out those specific genes. They are ranked each genes according to the correlation of gene expression in human islets with insulin secretion and with hemoglobin A1c. Differential expression in individuals with healthy pancreatic islets and diabetic donors. Bioinformatic analysis and finally using of the SNPs. They ranked them 1 to 98. Gene with the lowest criteria were ranked the highest. Using these criteria, they found out that 20 potential genes that show stronger difference in the expression between hyperglycemic and normal glycemic patients. These genes were positively correlated with insulin secretion and showed negative correlation with hemoglobin A1c. Gene CHL1 was ranked as highest. The expression of this gene could be explained. This gene, as this gene is responsible for cell adhesion, helps glucose stick to hemoglobin A1c. Hence, it had a higher gene expression and higher correlation with hemoglobin A1c and lower expression in seized human islets, i.e. type 2 diabetes patient. Silencing CH1 affects insulin secretion. Here on this slide, you can see the list of all those 20 potential genes. This research is very unique and interesting within its own right, because the 20 identified genes that showed variation in expression were not among the strongest 48 known risk genes. But the researcher did use those 48 genes as a layer to find new signal paths and chain of events where the 48 variants work together with other genes. Therefore, an integrated approach was used to identify potential type 2 genes in human islets. Because a single gene can rarely act on its own. With this research, by taking a new and more holistic approach, they have gone a step further than the previous projects and succeeded linking together gene variants and outline the patterns which regulates gene expression in human beta cell that caused insulin secretion. This research explains 24% variant in blood sugar level, whereas previous studies only explain less than 3%. The only loophole in this research is that these correlation between insulin secretion and hemoglobin A1c do not pinpoint those 20 genes were responsible for insulin secretion because findings are based on statistical values. However, the results do show significant importance for genes to be brought into attention. So, in order to take this research to the next level, the main objective would be to understand the way in which these strongest genes affect insulin secretion.